Hello everyone and welcome back to another versus video here in the Kerbal Space Program video. So what we're continuing today is we have ourselves a Delta IV Heavy, a Falcon Heavy. We are going to be getting them launching in 3, 2, 1, and there they go in the air. And these guys are going to be in a race to see who can build a space station uh, in the quickest time. So the vehicles are both off in the air. Both vehicles will be completing the exact same space station. It is a free launch station which will contain a crew module a electrical solar panel module and a life support slash escape pod slash utility module so there we go the delta 4 heavy it looks like it has taken a little bit of a lead just off the pad as the falcon heavy just continues its pitch over maneuver through around 10 kilometers and is going to get ready to separate its side cores in just one moment but delta 4 heavy is also going to be separating the side cores right about now there go the side cores, and there go the side cores of the Falcon Heavy. We're going to get good old booster cam enabled out as we watch the two side cores do the boost back burn as the center core has now been jettisoned off of the Delta IV Heavy. It is now burning the Delta Cryogenic upper stage, which is not a very high TWR stage, but the Delta IV Heavy is like a thousand meters a second ahead of Falcon Heavy, so it has some time to kill as the core stage of the Falcon Heavy has just been depleted. It is also going to do a boost back burn. Yes, we're doing a triple boost back burn on all the boosters because I didn't want to go through all the effort of doing the drone ship. And we have the Delta V. So, as the now the two side boosters are now coming in for their landings back at the Kerbal Space Center, the Delta IV Heavy is just about in its orbit as the Falcon Heavy upper stage has been. Uh, fired and is now going to start coasting onto orbit as the two boosters are now coming in for a landing and there they go with the center core now the last two land of the falcon heavy is going to be relating its engines very very sure we're going to start with the one engine then transitioning to three engines and then transitioning back down to one engine as the delta four heavy has released his first payload and is back in the air for its second launch as the falcon heavy core stage has just touched down and falcon heavy is circularizing in a low Kerbin orbit to deploy its first module, the crew module. So Falcon Heavy's back on launch number two, and Delta IV Heavy is well underway in its second launch. If you're enjoying the video, this is the best, most amazing thing ever. You can go and smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, smash the comment section. I don't know how you type that something. Join my Discord, join my Patreon, give me money, join member, blah, plugs. We like plugs. I don't know. Uh, that's all the plugs, I think. I don't know. Do all the things that give me money. Thank you. Okay, so, <laughs> uh, I mean, if you don't want to, obviously, you don't know. I actually pressure, but the Delta IV is not jettisoned its side course. And the Falcon Heavy is going to be getting ready to jettison its side course as the center core has now been jettisoned from the Delta IV Heavy. And now we are jettisoning the side course thing. Jettisoning so many times, it's like, say, five times fast. As the fairings of the Delta Heavy has now gone. And now the side cores of the Falcon Heavy will start. It's a boost back bird. Full disclosure here, um, I have a 7700K, which, uh, oh my god, yeah, before we do dob, it looks like we have a little bit of a malfunction on the Falcon Heavy, guys. Oh no, it looks like we've had a slight malfunction. Um, and there we go, malfunction is gone. <laughs> Nothing to see here, folks. Not like just a giant air brake just deployed. <laughs> um, totally not with that stuff. Full disclosure here, guys. So, as the two side cores come in for their landing, and the center core will do its boost back burn. I, I'm editing this thing on a 7700K, which is not a garbage CPU, but it just cannot handle this timeline. I'm, I'm editing with DaVinci Resolve, and the thing is like just barely, it's like stuttering its way through at like three FPS when we have all these different, like when you have the booster, all three booster cams up and the two rockets. So honestly, I barely even know what's happening during the booster cams while I'm recording this audio. So uh, apologize if my audio is like a few seconds kind of wrong because the way I'm looking at it, it's like, it's good run running at like 2 FPS, but the center core has landed! Maybe it landed 5 seconds ago, I don't know! Point is, circularizing is now occurring of the uh, Falcon Heavy upper stage as the uh, a power module, which is the second module, has now been, uh, been uh, released from the Delta Heavy. It is going to now uh, fully deploy itself. Delta Heavy is a little bit of a lead here. Looks like it may have a chance to uh, complete the station for Falcon Heavy and thereby win the race. So Falcon Heavy is going to have to regain some time here. The biggest advantage Falcon Heavy has is it has a much, much more powerful upper stage than the Delta Heavy. So if it can just get zoom and use that Rhino upper stage to uh, to 
can get going. Maybe do a little bit quicker on the dockings and rendezvous. It has a chance, but here comes the docking module, or the uh, electrical module, which has been docked and now going to be deploying the solar panels of the Delta Heavy Space Station. As the Falcon Heavy is now not that far behind, as it's coming into a pretty aggressive docking, as the Delta Heavy is now ready to do its final launch of Z Video. Going to do its role program as the Falcon Heavy has now arrived at its station, is now ready to do the docking of the electrical module as it is unfolding it and Delta Heavy is starting the pitch over maneuver to get its way into orbit. This is where things get starting to get fun. Falcon Heavy is really going to have to make up some lost time here because it is still on its docking as Delta Heavy is almost ready to uh, to deplete it is its side booster core thingies and there goes Falcon Heavy. So it is now going to be time to transition to the final launch of the Falcon Heavy in just a moment or two. There we go. Falcon Heavy is back in the air and is going full speed ahead. And uh, there is some weird thing that actually happened on the Falcon Heavy. Um, it would always, like, when you get around for, like, the 300 to 500 meters second margin or uh, area, like, range, the Falcon Heavy's acceleration just completely dies. I never, I only realized at the end. Um, is that the landing legs are kind of acting like air brakes, and the air is getting like trapped in between the landing leg and the, and the, and the, like, the core. Drag! Slowed Falcon Heavy down a lot. Welcome to KSP Physics. So, uh, the Delta upper stage has now been activated and is going to be burning as the Falcon Heavy is now continuing on its pitch over maneuver. Falcon Heavy looks like it's still quite a ways behind, still trailing about a thousand meters a second behind the Delta Heavy as the side cores will now start their boost back burns and head back to the KSC for the final time. There's a total of eight booster landings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine booster landings. Wow, nine. Lots of booster landings. The boosters will be glad this video is such a pain to make. <laughs> Better get a lot of subscribers. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Raid Shadow Legends, come sponsor me. And there you go, more monies. So, <laughs> uh, Center Core is now going to do its boost back burn back to the KSC as well. As these side cores are now going to get ready to start up their landing burns uh, to come land. Uh, on the the KSC as well as the Delta Heavy is now getting ready to plan its rendezvous but the Falcon Heavy is going to be using its a super duper mega awesome powerful upper stage to get itself into it to get a little bit of an advantage here as it pops its fairing and uh, the Delta Heavy is already uh, just almost in orbit right now as the uh, the side cores have now landed and the center core will get ready to do its landing for our final booster landing of the day oh my gosh how sad Let's see if the ninth one's a good one. Actually, I think if I remember right, this one is pretty good. So there you go, the landing legs, and touchdown! Hey, so that is all the Falcon Heavies back at the KSC. And now it is time to transfer some fuel, because I accidentally had uh, crossfade enabled. A bit. Shh. Professional KSP player here, guys. Professional. As, uh... As the Falcon Heavy is now going to try and make up some time and do its rendezvous in record speed here with uh, with its upper stage. Full disclosure, guys, while we're in this final few seconds of this race here. These races are just for fun, purely for entertainment value. This is not supposed to be like an actual comparison of the two vehicles. You know, I think we all know which one is better. Awkward silence. That was for you guys to... We're getting close to the end here. Epic announcer. It's 3 a.m. So, it's actually only 2.20, I don't know. I got, I'm going to get like four of this. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Going to get ready to do our rendezvous of our two final stage to complete our space stations. Our very kind of small space stations, but oh well. Um, <laughs> oh well, they, you know, it got, I was saying it'd be weird if there's like a 10 launch, but here comes the Delta Heavy, which is going to be arriving at its space station first. And Falcon Heavy is not far behind. This is also going to point retrograde and going to be showing up at its space station in just a few seconds. So now it's basically a docking competition to see who can get their module docked to the station first. It looks like Falcon Heavy is a little bit closer to uh, start the docking process. So there we go, both modules and are flying under their own power as the Delta Heavy is gonna start reorienting itself and the Falcon Heavy has already reoriented itself as now the Falcon Heavy is just gonna start inching closer to the station. Delta Heavy is now attacking the station. And that's kind of a weird way of saying things as they are now kind of spinning. And who's gonna get it first? Spinny, 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 spinny. Interstellar music, ah, so with much intensity, Delta Heavy, A, GG Delta, 
G, G, Delta. So there is our fully completed kind of crackeny station because I forgot to lock the, the hinges. But uh, there we go. Welcome. Welcome to the end of today's video, guys. Uh, once you get the thing worked out, I'm going to quickly... Uh, Fast forward over to a second where we can get to the, the daytime side and actually see what the fully completed space station looks like. Not great, but, um, yeah, not great. I just, it's, it's just like kind of like a boring, basic, tiny little space station. I don't know, the Kerbals can go hang out there and, I don't know, have a good, jolly old time. So, on screen right about now, you'll see a picture of all our members. If you want to become a channel member, you can hit the good old join button. We also have some Patreons, which are on screen right now. And if you uh, do want to support the channel, um, and you can go to Patreon, Patreon's probably a little better, uh, just because Patreon doesn't take 30% of your revenue on <laughs> Google. So, um, no, what did I say? Uh, nothing. Uh, give me more ad revenue, please. Thank you. Uh, that's the end of the video. So, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Please write a comment to the video. And again, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. And bye.